Yo, it is July 4th. What is going on to the Facebook crew? Over here at If You Can't Get Better, Be Better. Appreciate y'all for being here. It is day number 25 that I'm rocking with you and I already know what today's quote is. I know it because I looked it up, yes. But today's quote is that it goes back to Confucius and Confucius dropped the line, he who conquers himself is the bindiest warrior. And of course, what that means is identifying your own weakness and once you know what your weakness is, doing something about it. My biggest weakness now is anxiety, man. Out of all of the multiple sclerosis symptoms I go through, with all of the back stuff, I have the spondylosis, I got ulcerative colitis. With all of that, my biggest issue is anxiety. You would have no idea. I'm a customer service agent, and I mean, my anxiety is so bad. Once or twice a week, I'm about to start crying either before I, either, even before I log into work, I'm about to start crying. My anxiety has gotten that bad. Um, this is not the way I grew up. I know I was not that anxious of a person. And as a teacher, I was, I'm down, I was downright overconfident. But when you deal with a chronic illness, when you deal with handicaps, my anxiety absolutely blows up my day. What am I anxious about? What am I nervous about? My anxiety is because I'm always anxious and I a burden to others. I got a queen and kids here, and I'm always worried about, am I asking them to do too much? Am I asking somebody to pass the cup too many times? Am I asking somebody to, yo, would you nudge me here? Am I asking people... I'm always nervous about the burden I put on others. I'm nervous about the burden I put on my queen because ain't nobody else eating and grubbing the way I do. It's because of this illness that I do the pescatarian diet and I'm trying to leave alone sugar and gluten and I know I've got to leave the alcohol alone, but I'm learning, I'm learning, I'm getting better. Still, all of this, my vices, everything that I do in my own mind keeps me feeling like I am a burden to others. I do my yoga. I do my meditation. I feel like I am a burden to others. And one of the ways that I get over this, that I calm myself down, you know, is my gratitude journal. You know it is. Because, like I tell y'all, you it's hard. You can't overthink and have the negative thoughts if you're doing something positive. So when I'm working on the gratitude journal and I'm identifying things in my life, I'm not looking. It's not always about the sun shining. It's not always about the queen cook. It's not always about the kids are healthy. Because at the end of the day, when you got a chronic illness. Let's be real, man. You're not you're not always doing this shit for your for your kids. You're not getting up going through all this bullshit, all this pain because you have kids. You gotta have another reason to do things. You gotta have you gotta have another reason to do things. And the way my reason is this gratitude journal. That's my reason. That's my that's my moments away. That is and because I've done it so much now, I do as I'm, I, I damn near count it throughout the day. I think yesterday I did nine. I did my three online, I did my three with y'all. And it was three times throughout the day. I'm just stopping and I'm thinking, I got to just look, 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 look. And I'm thinking, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? And while I'm focusing on that, it drowns out all the other nonsense. So I'm talking to family and friends and <sighs> talking to family and friends and they'll look at you. You have a chronic illness. You're dealing with high anxiety because you have a chronic illness. That means you're sick every single day. You're sick all the time. Goddamn, you, you deserve to be, if anybody's going to be anxious, it's your ass. It's my ass. So you have family and friends that look at you. 
And no matter what the conversation is or the subject is, they found a way to tell you that your illness does not, doesn't match up. It's not about you. It's not about your illness. Your family and friends tell you shit like that all the time. It's not about you. It's not about your illness. It's not because you're sick. It's exactly why you have these answers. Because your ass is sick. And there are other people like you. So when they look at us and tell us that, they can fuck us up. They can make you anxious. You get around that by identifying your gratitudes. You know, I'm not always writing them down, but I to practice so much that so I get past comments, conversations. This is how you keep your day going with the gratitude journal. This is how you deal with your anxiety with the gratitude journal. We've been doing it. Before my gratitude journal, I was doing the, um, the five things where you would look around, you feel the anxiety coming, and you're looking around and you're trying to find something you can smell, see, touch, name it, stuff like that. I don't do that near as much now as I'm trying to find gratitudes. I got to find something to be grateful for, and I got to have the why I am grateful for it. That's it. Gratitude with, with the gratitudes, the gratitudes help with anxiety. Damn, they're going to have, I'm damn, they're going to get nervous talking to y'all about how it helps with anxiety because I get, yo, that's it. So that's the Confucius statement. I identified my weakness. It was the anxiety, how I'm always, I mean, it was, it was disturbing my day. So the gratitude journals help out with that. My three today. Start with number one, John grew, grew with a G like girl. John grew. I thought the dad's name in Despicable Me was Crew with a C. Since 2010, it's been my favorite animated film, and now I can actually pronounce and describe it right. I'm grateful my kids taught me how, and I'm grateful they got so crunk on teaching me that we laughed for five whole minutes. I mean, they had a good time laughing at me. Oh, that was good stuff, man. And I really do like that movie, Despicable Me. And since 2010, I've been calling the daddy John Crew. Crew with a C. I even spell people. Man, C as in Charles, R as in Robert, E as in, U as in Unique. And um, I argue back with them kids so much. I had to look it up on Google. Was, look it up on Google. Google it, daddy. Google it and, damn, right there. Right there. God, damn. Um, Gratitude number two. Quote format. I got it from CC. Again, but the gratitude here is on the business growth and on branding. My numbers are already going up, and this is going to help the numbers go up even more. Got to be, yo, that's, that's an easy one. I tell people about the gratitudes can be easy, they can be whack, they can be hard, they can be cheesy. That would be an easy one. And my last one, um, best leg day of the recent weeks. I mean it. I got in and out the shower without any danger. Did a full set of yoga. Stopped counting get 30 poses. The neurosis has calmed down in my thighs so much that I don't even trip on the neurosis in my feet. I'm excited to do nothing but eat without pain, laugh without pain, and watch Luca with them kids without pain good day so there we go see y'all tomorrow and i appreciate you rocking with your boy